my background was, first of all, learning, learning to do these kinds of procedures before I actually learned the theory behind it. I started as a teacher's aide. It was people who knew behavior analysis just backwards and forwards. So I really learned the practical how to do this stuff before I started taking work where I got training in formal behavioral psychology. And now I'm getting training in formal behavioral psychology and DRL and DRL and a ABC and so on. And I'm realizing, oh, those are just names for procedures that, uh, that I had learned to do as a way of positive shaping behavior and I started realizing that the, the the practical things that teachers do are kind of an overlay of ABC so ABC is if we're looking at a kid's behavior from here we're going the behavior is this and I can look at what were the antecedents that were setups for that behavior whether it's positive or negative behavior and then I can look at the consequences that are either reinforcing or serving as a punitive stimulus for that behavior but in looking at the kids behavior that's almost from an out outside observer. Stoic is basically saying there are variables that I, the teacher, can consciously manipulate and the S and T structure and teach of Stoic would be examples of antecedents. I can be going the way I structure the room. If I structure badly, it's an antecedent for bad behavior. If I structure well, it's an antecedent for good behavior. If I teach expectations well, it's an antecedent for good that prompts good behavior. If my expectations are unclear, if they're inconsistent, uh, if they're um, overly tolerant, my an I, it can be an antecedent for bad behavior. If, for example, I a teacher, as a teacher, I don't particularly mind noise, so I allow a level of noise like this. But I have kids who have a very low tolerance for noise and impulse control problem. My not having taught the class to maintain an orderly level of noise may be an antecedent that's setting my kid with anger management issues up for bad behavior. So the S and T are basically teacher-managed antecedents. I'm going to manipulate those variables in order to try to prompt responsible behavior. The O of Stoic is I have to observe the behavior. I have to see the behavior so that I can make decisions. Do I want to try to reinforce that or do I need to correct that? in some kind of way, but I also need to observe it to think in terms of should I manipulate the antecedents differently tomorrow to try to have a more positive impact. So these things all relate together in that if the behavior is consistently bad, I want to think about my antecedents, which are structure and teach. I want to think about how am I going to reinforce success? How am I going to correct errors? If I am correcting errors so much that I can't have a positive ratio of interactions, so that I'm at least three to one, if not more, then I'm telling myself maybe I need to set up a structured reward system, which setting up a structured incentive system is creating an antecedent that says you need to be aware that if you do these things, here's what you get. So it basically all interrelates as an overlay for what variables the teacher can consciously manipulate in order to have a positive impact on that behavior that they're observing.